Okay, now it's time to talk about the classification of matter. We're going to try to figure out, is the substance pure or is it a mixture? So we'll look at the matter here and place whatever we're interested in here. But we're going to go in this direction if it's made out of one thing. If you have two choices if it's made out of one thing, is it's a pure substance, is it an element, or is it a compound? So in other words, made of one thing, it's all one thing together. There's no uh, other things mixed in with them. So an element would be found directly on the periodic table. So if I'm interested, if something is actually a pure substance, is it an element? You will find its name actually on the periodic table. Now a compound, you will not find directly on the periodic table. You might find something like you know sodium chloride or something like that on there, but it'll be combined together. So it's not directly on the periodic table. You know something that also could be uh, would be like glucose. You know, glucose is a compound made out of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, but its name won't be found on the periodic table. But again, it's all made out of one kind of thing. So there's your choices with pure substances. Now, what if you're made out of more than one thing? Well, then you're a mixture, and you have two choices. Can you see the parts of the mixture, or can you not see the parts? If you can't see the parts, it's called a solution. or a homogeneous mixture. If you can see the parts, then it's called a heterogeneous mixture. Uh, let's practice. First example, pizza. Now, I definitely know pizza is made out of more than one thing, uh, but I kind of see the parts. You know, I see pepperoni, cheese, tomato sauce, bread, and whatever you want to call that. So let's take a look at this. So I'm going to insert pizza here. I definitely know pizza is made out of more than one thing, so it's definitely a mixture. And um, yes, I can see the parts, so I'm going to check heterogeneous. So pizza is a heterogeneous mixture. Hmm, I'm getting kind of hungry right now, but I better focus. And let's continue. Next example, a glass of water with food coloring in it. Well, I definitely know it's a mixture because there are more than one thing. There's a blue pigment and there's also water. But as I look through this, I can't see any parts of this at all. It looks uniformly blue everywhere. So I definitely know it's a mixture, but I can't see the parts. Okay, so let's see. How does that work? Let's take a look. Let's call this blue water. So again, it's made out of more than one thing, so I know it's a mixture, and, but I can't see the parts. So it's a homogeneous mixture, and I will classify that especially as a solution. Again, homogeneous mixtures are solutions. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Let's try another example. This is magnesium metal. Okay, now I think to myself, hmm, I've seen that before somewhere. Looking at the periodic table, I will find magnesium on there, and it has the symbols of Mg for magnesium. So I know it's a pure substance already because it's only made out of one kind of thing and specifically one kind of element. So let's go to our chart. So let me put magnesium here. This is the matter that I'm interested in classifying. I know it's made out of one thing, so it's a pure substance. And I can find it directly on the periodic table, its name and its symbol. So I know that that is a pure element. Not so bad. Let's try one more. This is sodium chloride. So I know its symbols are Na and Cl. So I will find these on the periodic table, but they're combined together somehow in some kind of chemical bond. So I'm not going to find it directly on the periodic table as it is named. But I do know it's made out of only one kind of thing. So let's go to this. So I'm going to put sodium chloride here, and I'll write its name this time. Sodium chloride. So I know it's made out of one kind of thing, so it's a pure substance. But I won't find it directly on the periodic table as it is, so I know it's a compound. It's made out of more than one element, chemically bound together to make one thing, which is called a compound. And this is how we use the classification tree to uh, figure out what kind of material that we have in chemistry.